So guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have the man, the myth, the legend. It is It's Just a Six, all the way from Atlanta, or depending when your religion books were written, from Louisiana, one of the two. So he's gonna get out eventually, or he's just gonna run away, I'm not sure, or he's getting his guns and he's gonna blow my brains off. <laughs> hey man. Well, Long time no see. Yeah. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Can't complain. Yeah. I can't believe you made it up here. I can't believe I made it up here. Dude, the drive was a little long. Yeah. I say, it was quite exhausting. Yeah. You it's should. pretty cool. Yeah, well, I'll show you around. And, uh, yeah. We almost got into a pretty predicament this morning. Yeah. Um, I found out that you guys have really low overpasses here on a few different Oh, locations. really? And so I came down this miniature like tail of the dragon road and then got to a spot where there was a nine foot overpass and so I had to back down the road. Oh. <laughs> and then we got here. So Oh well welcome. <laughs> almost the C7 is actually up front in the nose of the trailer, up top, and we almost took it out. So luckily, luckily we did. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get that one done. That way we can give it away. Yeah. On this Okay, we'll begin disassembling these things and port them out to the lowest bidder. <laughs> to the lowest bidder. So Johnny is going to be working on this. Okay. Wherever he went, he disappeared. Oh, there's, that's Johnny. And then Noah's gonna be working on this one. Okay. And this one we're gonna be doing um, the little experiment that I was telling you about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do we wanna tell everybody, cause I guess my channel probably still doesn't know the exact details of what we're doing to both uh -huh. Do you wanna run down there? We, we could run down, do you see? know? You, oh, he doesn't. He, I mean, he I paid for the invoice, so I saw. He doesn't know. You paid was. for the yeah. You paid for the invoice, and you already had headers, and there are headers on the invoice. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> hey, do you drink Michelob Ultra? Because there's a can like in your grill. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do not drink Michelob Ultra. No. <laughs> it's you got to look down past your hood latch, but it's like what? Right? You won't oh see God. it from there. You're better from there. What in the it's hell? It's crushed, bro. What? <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Yeah. Rolling up Uber black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some meat us to the face, baby, I don't need no space Come in closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything just fade away Cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, rice, so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on a tight frame All game, no shame, baby, can't get a play I feel like an addict cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine What are we waiting on? 
again. We do kind of need that. I heard you needed it. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to do flood clear. That way we get uh, oil pumping through yeah. the engine, get everything a little lubricated. Gas pedal down, clutch down. Yeah. That type of thing. Yeah. It's not in gear. Yeah. Primer out. Oh my God! This is a damn 19. You have the whole little freak out. Yeah. <laughs> Arizona. Oh, Arizona. Cal oh, uh, Arizona. 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 So what? What's the benefit between the little gulp to the big gulp? So above about 750 rural horsepower, the little gulp does find a limit. Uh, it just gets harder to suck that air through the, the tinier tube. So there's a bigger tube for the big gulp, and we're gonna put it on. So what you're saying is size matters. Size does matter. That's why I'm so ugly, but my wife still loves me. <laughs> so guys, this is a really cool thing that I want to show you. This is the Force Inductions Interchiller Package with our fail-safe. Fail-safe? What are you talking about? Well, in terms of a fail-safe, what we got here is a heat exchanger on it that we normally remove. But we don't in this case. So we normally remove the heat exchanger because we want to be able to keep everything as cold as possible. When everything gets so cold and you have a heat exchanger on the car, what happens is the heat exchanger is now heating up the fluid because the fluid's colder than the outside air. It's wild. So what we've done with our fail safe is we've created a system where when the AC is on, it diverts everything straight through the inner chiller only. And then when the AC is off, it bypasses the inner chiller and goes through the heat exchanger only. That way you get full cooling either way and they're not fighting each other. And if you forget to put your AC on, you're covered. If you have your AC on, you're getting as cold as possible. The CSP fail safe for the force induction inner chiller. First on, it's just a sixes car. Moment of truth. Yeah, it's definitely getting cool. But there's no way to convey that on a camera. I know, I know. <laughs> Take our word for it, it's colder. <laughs> you know, there was a way. Remember when I got my tongue stuck to the one? Oh god, I gotta find yeah, that clip. Yeah. Yeah, it was so cold that I put my tongue on it. No, he he licked. He licked the crossover. Yeah, I looked right here and it like, my tongue got stuck in it. So, yeah. Yep. Oh my goodness, dude. I used to do that bullshit, throwing ice in the back and having a giant water tank and all that headache of running C 
16 foot lines and all that bullshit. Look at this. Kill this one. That's just my AC. Look, put it on the floor and don't go in here. Watch the roll. It's like seeing is believing. Yeah. That is like the longer that it's running, the older it is actually getting without having had our AC. Without having had a big unit. I've really like, never seen anything like that before at all. Yes, he has. I've had blower cars making this much power, but like I said, it just. It's always stuck because I've had it, a fucking ice tank in the back. And you pour well, bags of ice, one run, it's gone. Like, you can put the force induction inner chiller kit on any car that has AC. Yeah, that is so. so and you want to bring up the rest of them. Honestly, I might. I was just telling him, I was like, can you do board stuff? And he was like, no. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. We need the black car. We could do the inner chiller to it. Yeah. We okay. could do an inner chiller to just about anything. Okay. I'm keep that in there. Whether these guys want to or not. <laughs> I took my Ford to a GM shop. <laughs> There's not a lot of places that can get the inner chiller installed correctly. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. That's why sometimes you'll read online and be like, it's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Because they can't get it to work because they don't know what they're doing. It and honestly, the, well. yeah, the, well, the first uh, couple inner chillers that we installed, uh, you know, thing, things happened. Yeah. That's it for my part. I need to show you the inner chiller. You have to see this, okay? Okay, I want you to feel right here. Feel right there. Go ahead, you can touch it. I don't really want to. You should touch it. So it's not hot, okay? Okay. Okay, now we can turn the AC on. Is it supposed to be hot? I don't know huh? if it would feel like normal. Normally, yeah, it's really, really hot. Okay, so turn that on. Get a chili dog! Daddy, touch it! Yeah, that made it nice. Yeah, no, it's perfect. How do I feel like it got hot? Okay, so it should be cooling down now. Are you excited? Super excited. So excited? Like the most excited you've ever been? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. This is, this is wonderful. Let's see, is it getting colder? Okay, go ahead, give it a little touch. A touch of doodle do. She doesn't care at all. Not one bit. Not one bit. Yeah. We're gonna put it in her chiller on our relationship. Oh wait, it already is there. Alright. First, first drive. You didn't stall it yet, so that's good. You could. <laughs> I very well could. I don't know. You just don't have very much faith. We'll try a second. Look at that. The bass tune's not bad. I'll see if it was going to low down a little bit and start stalling a little bit, but it's not. This is why it's called the Andrew Package. <laughs> Because oh, like, the Andrew package has to perform. It's too ugly not to perform. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for the crude jokes. What? She didn't even hear you. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. This is ridiculous. Where's the quickest, easiest way to go get gas? To the right? Yeah. Go that way? Yeah, we can go to the Russian gas station. Okay. <laughs> the car's a little low. Yeah. You okay. You feel like your soul just like. No, not at all. I, you know, that thing screams all the time. I'm honestly more amazed at this thing's drivability so far. I was really expecting this to be hard right. to drive. Really? Yeah. Well, you said you wanted a good driver. I. Yeah, I just did. Uh, I've said you that about a lot of cars. I, I see. He didn't think that I could deliver a good driver. I've never had anybody really deliver on that statement.
Res 93 <laughs> or Luke Oil. Okay, we'll give it a wall off. Well, look at that, it says diesel right there. <laughs> you see that? It, I mean, I am pretty sure that because I, they really did. I'm telling you, we went to like you, five gas stations. You, you said you went here and they didn't have I it. I did, and I swear there must be another loop oil somewhere that doesn't I'm, have it. I'm pretty sure you went by and they're like, the cell? No, that's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> I pulled up my phone. Get in the left lane. Diesel gas stations, and it pulled up a whole list, and we went to each of them. Yeah. I, I'm not kidding. We were talking about this yesterday. Ironically, every one that we went to somehow was the ones that didn't have these. All the ones that we didn't go to here had diesel. So I don't know. I don't believe it one bit. I, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> so it, oh, here's the wall. Wait, what's that green thing on that? Dizel again. Got <laughs> it. <laughs> so we're going to get gas, and I'm going to continue making fun of them. <laughs> this is a fun trip so far. <laughs> Where I have this sit right now, it's like very low on timing. Normally we have like six more degrees of timing or so for this build, sometimes more, sometimes less. Um, but you should be making about 700 or more horsepower now. Okay. And then when we bump it up, it'll get around like 780, I think. If it was okay. automatic, it should be like 800. Follow, follow that. Right here to the left. Yep, to the left. It's weird. It, I think it's just the gearing. It's not like, I don't think it's Probably. the automatics like more efficient, like I think it would be equal at, at yeah. worst. Good maiden voyage. That really nothing, is. Nothing broke. I'm gonna look at the log and then uh, we're gonna go get some paint. Yeah, sounds good. Does that sound good to you? Are you yeah. okay back there? You're like, okay. well, I gotta put the wide angle view on here because, wow, you were like, you were all curled up. <laughs> the fetal seats. <laughs> it's dino time. It is dino time. We're gonna find out what the Andrew package on uh, it's just a six, which is a V8, uh, actually does. It should, you know, it should be right around on since it's manual, probably 780 rear wheel horsepower. That's my guess. What do you think? Dude, I'm excited. I really, really am. I can't wait. Here's how you know it's going to be a good day. Yeah, yeah it's always going to be a good day when I got my work clocks on. <laughs> I got my work clocks on. That means work's getting done. Unless I'm here and I should be doing something else. Huh. Okay. So, uh, so we're gonna begin with uh, this bass tune that I put on. This is what you drove all over the world with, by the way, uh, which was just supposed to get it from like there to here, but we did it anyway. Um, this is this should be about 700. That's what I'm thinking that it's gonna put down about 700. Uh, it's low timing. The air fuel should be correct or really, really close. If it looks good, I'm going to run it all the way through. If it doesn't, I'm going to abort mid full. Okay, ready? I think so. It should be cooling down. Does it look like it's ready to go? Is it condensating on the uh, the blower? Let's see. A little bit. A little bit. Good enough for me. Let's get a port first pull. I 
I thought it was going to be. Not bad, not bad. I was hoping for a little bit more spice, but that just means we have to turn it up. <laughs> so, I'm going to look at the data and then we're going to run it. That was only 12 degrees of timing. That was only 12 degrees of timing. So, really? He's oh. got, he's got some room oh, to go. Make sure that it's protected. Okay. Do you want internet numbers? I really don't care. Like an STD? What do you put on your dog? I try to tell people this all the time. I really don't give a shit what numbers that a car makes on a dyno because dynos can be manipulated one to the other. It doesn't really matter about the numbers. I say we just make whatever. I don't care about internet numbers. He said I'll even <laughs> I'll even race people that I will lose against. Well, you no. can't even hear anything I'm saying. What are like you? He's looking at You should race wagon first this. I think so. You gotta dine on the wagon first. I probably should do that. <laughs> probably. He ain't gonna do that. What? <laughs> so, we had to move everything in the shop real quick because there's like bad, really bad weather coming. Not that they closed the school, so luckily my wife was off today so she could get the kids. And now, we're going to warm this up to cool it back down. But we're gonna warm this up to cool it back down. Okay. my log in, but it looked like it ended at around 160 mark or so. I'm going to turn the inner chiller on now. 
So interchiller is on. It should stop using the heat exchanger now completely and start cooling it down. We'll give it that cool down and runner again without shutting the car off. I'll get it out. I want to see this thing get cold. Numbers though. I know. I'm a, I'm a little sad. Big numbers. Well, that I mean, just means that it we, works that well though. Is that you don't have any hero numbers. It is actually going to do the same thing consistently every time. But yeah, how are we supposed to put this on the internet? <laughs> I know. We need hero numbers. You should put it in that. You know, we should just put it in STD. <laughs> so in internet numbers. Yeah. Seven ninety three. Seven ninety three. There's a. We did have a 793, but that one pulled a little timing up top, so we, uh, we stopped there. So now. <laughs> okay, those are the internet numbers. <laughs> you know, I feel like putting them out, it just it feels like a disease. So guys, thanks for watching today's video. We will see you on the next one when we work on the C7 giveaway car for It's Just a Six. For now, I'm off in this thing. I still have some work to do to it, but I'll tell you the story on it soon, because it's uh, a wild story, and why I didn't make it to Cadillac attack. Okay. I'm out. <laughs>